If you can program, you feel kind of like a magician. From the moment you tap on this icon to the moment you leave that app, all of that encompasses what I do. My name is Michael Saman. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a software engineer at Facebook. My mom and my dad owned a Peruvian chicken restaurant in Miami. Grew up my entire childhood speaking Spanish, and then in school uh, learned some English. Growing up in Miami, you don't get exposed to Silicon Valley in any way. You don't really know what any of these companies do here. You don't know what Silicon Valley is about. You don't know where it is. You don't know any of that. We had one computer in the house that was a really old PC, but it worked. I was obsessed with this game called Club Penguin. I wanted to read up on any tricks to the game. I would find all these different blogs and I was really excited about them. And then I would go and aspire to make my own and so I didn't know how to do that and just went and searched it on the internet. I got a few different websites like WordPress, Blogger, different types of sites that facilitate making websites without having to code. There came one point when I basically wanted to change the color of my website and the service did not provide that for me. I just went on the internet and searched for it again. Apparently it's like this whole programming language and that you've got to enter codes. I started to realize piece by piece what each part of the code did, right? If I changed this, it would change the background. If I changed this, it would change the outline. And then I realized that there's all these courses online to do it and that there's this thing, you know, it's computer science. And I was like, oh, cool, okay. So I started grabbing those and looking at their PowerPoints and seeing the process. That stereotypical idea of computer scientists of being good at math definitely didn't apply with me. Around that time, the restaurant business started to go bad. And the people weren't coming in anymore because of the recession in the US. We had to cut the internet from the house. We had to cut the TV. We had to cut a bunch of things. We ended up losing our house. I saw this keynote with Steve Jobs talking about the iPhone and how they were going to launch an app store and that the iPhone was gonna have apps. And I said, what I wanna do is build a mobile version of my website. I want a Club Penguin app. And I didn't know how, but I just went on the internet and searched for it again and said, how do I make an app? And so I did that, I managed to submit an app and it turned out to be about 48 downloads that came in on that first day. And the app was at 99 cents. As the days go by, it was like 150 the next day, 200 the day after. The first month that came in, it was about $5,000. That whole rush of excitement while being able to have this financial stability for my family has just been incredible. Every kid naturally has this curiosity. They seem to always ask questions. Not losing that as you grow up, I think is important. And I was curious and determined, that combination of being like, I want to know why, and if I don't find the answer 50 times after looking, I'm going to look again. The only trick with the internet is you have to bring in your own urge to learn to be able to accomplish those things and get into this world.